as I said, when I drilled out this one um, uh, hole for the output tube that had got missed, there's a little gap on the outside and, and that's not a problem to the integrity of the amp and it won't bother me unless I let it bother me. Uh, it's the same thing, the IC connector when you mount it, there's a little gap around it and that's fine, it's not a problem. Uh, there are also several holes drilled in this that are not going to be used in, in this build and those don't bother me either. I like that we got the little plastic caps to cover the uh, extra holes for the 12AX7s. Um, it just looks nicer, but you know, a couple of little extra holes don't look out of place and that little gap doesn't look out of place. Some people get really uptight about that and say, well, you have your chassis is a, a shielding, a part of the shielding component of the amp, which is true. Um, but that's, look up Faraday cage. Um, it doesn't have to be 100% closed or solid. Often a Faraday cage is made out of mesh and it does the job just fine as well. If you looked at this and you said, well, the integrity of your shielding is not going to be there. The IEC socket itself is plastic and it's mounted in a hole in the chassis, so it's effectively not there for shielding anyway. Um, same for many of the other components. So don't get too overboard about the shielding. If you don't have big gaping holes, you're not going to have shielding issues because of that. And like I say, the little gaps and extra holes, they won't bother you unless you let them bother you and then you can spend your time geeking out on how to deal with that.